Hey gearheads and welcome to Garage Talk. I'm Corey and this is the 2023 Mazda CX-50. This is the future of the Mazda brand with crossovers. And in this video, we're going to take a quick look around it, drive it on the city streets here in the DFW Metroplex and tell you how it drives. Starting under the hood of this 2023 Mazda CX-50, you get, no surprise here, the 2.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder making 228 horsepower and 311 pound-feet of torque. This one is an all-wheel drive model, so that power does go to all four wheels. Let's put the hood down and show you the updated styling for this vehicle. This is the new design language for Mazda. It is much wider, brawnier, and muscular, and I think it is a very, very handsome upgrade to the same size class CX-5 uh, that is still in Mazda's lineup. Very wide and low and flat hood, just uh, all around, I, I think it gives it a much more muscular front end. Uh, very interesting grill uh, right here with this very large flat spot uh, protruding out. It gives some interesting angles and dynamics to the front of this vehicle. Interestingly enough, uh, Mazda has moved the radar adaptive cruise uh, sensors from behind the Mazda logo to down here lower in the grill, which makes this Mazda logo actually stand out and look just a little classier than before. Updated lighting with uh, daytime running lamps looks very nice and very classy up front. Moving along to the side, you see that it is very similar to the CX-5 in overall dimensions, proportions, and that's because it is still in that same class. This does have a few upgrades because it does have uh, Mazda's smart key system. So gone is the little rubber button for locking and unlocking here on the door. And uh, we'll get more into the interior here in a little bit. A little less bright work on the window sills. Uh, the CX-5 had a chrome strip that ran all the way underneath all the windows and kicked up here at the back. So toning down some things and really emphasizing the width and the angles of this. Speaking of widths, this car has got some hips, uh, very noticeable from the driver's seat looking in the rear view mirror. And that continues on back here to these new LED taillights that do overlap and overhang out here. Again, emphasizing the overall width and proportions of this vehicle, making it look bigger and wider and more muscular than the CX-5. Cleaned up design and styling back here, but still very traditional Mazda crossover back in the back. Opening up the power lift gate, you'll see that there is quite a lot of room back here in the back of the CX-50. You do get a false load floor, but not much additional storage because that is where your spare and your speaker or your sound system subwoofer is stored. But there are some cubbies here on the side. You do get a 60-40 split bench with uh, rear hatch access uh, folding features that does give you a very massive flat load floor all the way up here. I'm gonna push this other one down. It doesn't quite wanna let go. So there we go, uh, front seat's in the way, but you can see very, very cavernous uh, and spacious interior and storage area in the CX-50, but that's enough for the outside. Why don't we hop inside and see exactly what it is like in there. Sitting inside the CX-50, it is a very luxurious, very well-appointed interior and definitely leads to the more luxurious bent that Mazda is aiming for. You've got these gorgeous terracotta leather seats that are heated and ventilated, very 
interesting stitch pattern running down the spine of these seats with some black accenting all the way around very very classy upscale seats that do feel very very comfortable uh, the seating position you do have uh, memory seats here on the cx50 two-person memory seat uh, with the controls up here on the dash but very comfortable and you can see out very easily this does have i'm going to go ahead and fire it up very familiar and of course we're going to have some engine chimes just for a second very familiar interior she's mad that i don't have my there we go very familiar interior appointments if you've been in a uh, recent mazda product we recently had the cx9 here on the channel everything feels very familiar from the gauge cluster the infotainment so i'm not going to go too much into detail there because you can go watch my cx9 video Again, you do have Mazda's rotary dial controls here and your volume knob here. Be interesting to see. Nope, this one does not appear to be a touch screen. So your only interface with that screen is through uh, this knob here. Do you get a couple of cup holders that are oddly placed for, we're here in Texas, a big Whataburger cup. It probably is not going to fit up here if you get the largest Whataburger cup. Some nice rubberized storage right here. Right below all your climate controls. I did mention heated and ventilated front seats. One thing I really like is the placement of the Qi wireless charger. It is right here underneath the access to the center console, which is split 50-50 and is very padded and comfortable. I do have the window sticker for this one here. So again, it's got the 2.5 liter uh, twin scroll turbocharged uh, four cylinder engine making 227 horsepower, 310 pound feet of torque, six speed automatic transmission. So very familiar equipment there. The window sticker on this exact one in premium plus all wheel drive is $43,170. Uh, there are a few options on this one, but like I said, it is the top trim. Let's move on back to that back row and see what sitting behind myself is like in the back seat. Sitting in the back seats of the CX-50, again, sitting behind myself at 510. Plenty of room, nice cutout in the back of the seat for additional knee room, but not going to be an issue for me. Firm, but not hard rear seats. Nicely angled, they do not recline, but overall, generally very comfortable. You do get outboard heated seats here, two USB-A ports back here for backseat passengers, and in typical Mazda fashion, for all you parents out there, removable hard plastic covers for the very easy to access uh, lower child seat tethers. So just something to know, if you take those out, you're gonna need to find a place for them. You do get a fold down center armrest, which is really nice. And before we hop out and show you the, how the seats fold uh, from this position, I do wanna call attention to the massive panoramic sunroof up above. I get a really nice view from back here, though this bar, in between the opening part and the fixed part is a little uh, large, so it does cut into some of my view, but generally a very comfortable back seat for any type of family. So we showed you the rear uh, hatch access to fold down the rear seats, but there is actually a button here on the side that allows you to do the same. They are 60-40. Uh, they are relatively flat. There is this little bit of material here to help keep stuff from falling in the cracks and you do get anchors all the way across the back but why don't we get this one out on the road and see how it drives in the dfw area all right setting off for some city driving in the mazda cx50 all-wheel drive i did mention uh, this feels very similar to the 2022 Mazda CX-9 we had for a week on our channel. You can go check that out. We actually have two videos on it. Uh, one with just myself where 
I gave it a little more acceleration and one with my wife and my son to see how this fares as a family vehicle. Uh, sitting here today in the CX-50, again, it feels very familiar. All, all the controls feel the same, look the same, uh, very similar infotainment uh, system in it, very similar gauges, just all around uh, not a lot has changed except for a little bit of the placement of things. Uh, and then it's a more cleaned up, classier, upscale uh, vehicle than what the CX-9 was that we had. Mentioned earlier, odd placement for the cup holders, especially here with our big drinks in Texas. But getting this out on proper roads, very solid suspension, no real creaks or rattles. Uh, I'm gonna take a turn here and see. All right. Rather quick acceleration. So this has the same powertrain as many different Mazda crossovers in that 2.5 liter turbo four. Being that this is a smaller, lighter vehicle than the 9 that we had, it, it has definitely got more get up and go than the CX-9 did. I like it. It's a, a good pairing for this size. Getting a little larger than this, uh, you get a little too heavy. Uh, the steering on it feels good, feels accurate, tracks quite well. Not heavy, it's not washy, it's uh, definitely a sport tuned steering, uh, steering setup that gives you confidence if you were to, you know, have some spirited driving. You know, that zoom zoom soul that Mazda is known for. Uh, one thing I want to do here while I've got it, I am on a four lane road. Nobody behind me, nobody in front of me. I want to see what a real world U-turn looks like. So let's see how tight the turning circle is on this full lock and gets me over uh, in the leftmost lane of the other opposing traffic. So one, two lanes of traffic, not a bad U-turn or turning radius uh, for this vehicle. Riding in this, this is not the smoothest road. You can hear it is a little textured. You can feel the bumps. The road talks to you. It lets you know what the road surface feels like, but it does not beat you up in here. It is not rough. It is not harsh. Uh, it does not feel like you are in a sports car by any means. But again, there is some sportiness and some fun uh, that you can have in this car. Unfortunately, I only have this for about half an hour today, so I can't do a real big deep dive. I am looking to get one of these for a little bit longer term, perhaps that week long loaner. So uh, be sure to subscribe if you wanna see more from me on this car in the future, and we will let you know when we've got one for a full week's worth of testing. That's about it from me here at Texas Motor Speedway in the 2023 Mazda CX-50. As always, hit subscribe, uh, hit like, let me know down in the comments what you like about this or what you wanna see more of so that when I do get one for a week's, week's worth of testing, I can address your questions, comments, and concerns. But until next time, gearheads, bye.